everyone! Welcome back to my channel! I'm Avery, and this is Avery's World. Today we'll be doing another jewelry unboxing. Before we get started, I'd like to show you some of the tools that I usually use for my unboxings. First, I usually have uh, a pair of scissors with me, a magnet to test for sterling silver, a mandrel to check ring sizes, a magnifying glass to see small print, and a tape measure to measure bracelets and necklaces. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I mainly do jewelry and clothing hauls, and I'm a reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. Well, the seller really packaged this very nicely. Let's start with this one. I think I'm going to need my scissors again to get into this. Ah, uh, let's see if it'll come open. I'm going to need those scissors again. <laughs> Okay, finally got it. Let's see what we have here. It looks like a pin. And it's very pretty. I like the blue stone. And it's a very nice flower. It's really cute. Very nice. Let's check it with the magnet. It's not sticking, so that's a good sign. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Mm-hmm. See what we have here. Looks like a pair of earrings. And these are nice. Let's check them with the magnet. They are not sticking, so that is a good sign. Okay, on to the next. This looks like a necklace or a bracelet. Let's see if I can get it out. And it's in a second bag. Let's see. This is a pretty necklace. I like the purple stones. They might be amethyst. If I can get it untangled. There we go. Very nice. Let's see if it'll stick to the magnet. It's stuck a little bit. So that's not a very good sign, guys. <laughs> yeah. 
I think that says 925 on the clasp. Let's turn it around. It's very tiny. Let's see if I can see it with the magnifying glass. Still pretty hard to see that. <laughs> Okay, on to the next. This looks like a bracelet inside of there. Let's see if I can get it open. Ah. Two rings. Another necklace. And a bracelet. Let's take a look at the bracelet first. I like the red design on the uh, outside of the bracelet. Not sure which HD stands for. Let's see if it'll stick. It's not sticking, which is very good. Okay, let's look at this little necklace. I like the bird. It's very cute. I think that says sterling, but I'm not sure. And it is sticking to the magnet, so that is not good. The chain it may not be sterling silver. Let's try it again. Yep, it was sticking a little bit, so that's not good. But we can go on to the next piece. And this looks like a nice necklace. Um, I see two birds and a sun. I really like that design. It's very pretty. Let's turn it over to see if there are any markings. And that looks like 925, which is a good sign. Okay, so the pendant did not stick to the magnet. And we can try the chain next. Sometimes uh, the clasp of a chain will stick to a magnet because there's a still spring inside. So let's try this part of the chain. Okay, that is not sticking, so that's good. Okay, so you have two rings left. If I can just get this open. Okay, here we go. I think this is a toe ring. Not really sure, but... It's very cute. Hmm. 
And I think it says 9 to 5 there. Let's check with the magnifying glass. A little difficult to see. And let's see if it'll stick to the magnet. It is not, so that's good. So this is our last piece, the ring, and it does say 9 to 5 on the inside. Let's take a closer look with the magnifying glass. Yep, it says 9 to 5. Oops. Let's check it with the magnet. And it is sticking, which is bad. <laughs> That's okay, though. Yep, it is definitely sticking. Okay, so that is our haul for today. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video.